Hey guys, today we are in a new book, Galatians chapter 1. Now before we jump right into Galatians, let me kind of explain Galatians to you. Galatians is a letter uh, written by Paul to the churches in the southern region of Galatia. So if you remember reading back in the book of Acts, after his first missionary journey, he went to this region. As he came back, he heard um, reports that the church has been infiltrated and is believing a different type of gospel. Instead of believing the gospel of Jesus Christ, they have been infiltrated by a group of people known as the Judaizers. Um, basically what that means is they believed in Jesus for faith, but you also had to live the life of the Mosaic law. So you had to do the works of the Old Testament plus Jesus equals salvation. And so Paul writes this letter to basically affirm that salvation is by faith alone. Uh, and so this really happens in the book of Acts right before um, Acts chapter 15, where we have the Jerusalem council, where the whole chapter is about salvation is by faith alone, not work. So this is kind of a, a precursor. And then he goes to the Jerusalem council. And so, like I said, two main points. One, salvation is by faith alone. And then as we end the letter, um, because salvation is by faith alone, it should bring us to be unified. And it talks a lot about being unified um, as a church. So let's jump right in, right? So Paul writes this letter, and probably um, as you read this, I don't know if you'll see it this way, um, but this is kind of what we would say is, as Paul is, I'm not going to say he's angry, um, but he he's angry. He, he's kind of upset. He just shared the gospel with them. They all believe. They started church. He spent um, about a year and a half, about 18 months with them. And as soon as he leaves, man, they, they, they believe other people. They believe a different gospel. And so Paul is, this is a very correcting letter, much like 1 Corinthians was uh, in 2 Corinthians. Um, so let's just jump right in, right? Paul, an apostle. Not from men or through men. G, uh, Paul was not commissioned by man, but he was commissioned through Jesus. If you remember that, he he met Jesus on the Damascus Road, and it changed his life. To the churches of Galatia, this is southern Galatia. This is his first missionary journey. Um, these are the churches in Acts that um, uh, in the regions of Antioch, of Poseidon. Uh, Iconium, Lystra, Derbe, um, that region, so the southern region of Galatia. Grace um, to you, peace from you, and uh, who gave himself to, to for our sins to deliver us from the present evil age. Paul instantly says the heart of the gospel, right? That Jesus gave himself for our sins. Verse 6, uh, and this is kind of the, this is the main point. Verse 6 is kind of the, the, the crux of what happened. I am astonished that you are so quickly deserting him who called you in the grace of Christ and are turning to a different gospel. Not that there is another one, but there are some who trouble you and want to distort the gospel of Christ. So right here in verse six and seven, it's important that you understand these verses as we move forward. I am astonished. Um, that's, that is the word thamazo, and it just means I am amazed. Paul says, I am amazed that you are so quickly, tetios, which also means easy, that you are easily and quickly deserted Jesus, who saved you by grace, um, and are turning to a different gospel, this Judaizers. They're not, they weren't against Jesus. They were just saying Jesus plus works, Right. Um, so it's Jesus plus, not Jesus alone. Uh, and he even says, not that there is a, another gospel. That word another in the Greek is the word alos, and it means um, the same but different. So he's saying that there, there's not another gospel. There's not something else that can save you. It, it, it's not the same. Um, is different. Not that there is another one, but there are some who trouble you, who shake you. That's the word, shakes you back and forth and wants you to distort the gospel of Christ. 
Um, that word distort is the word metastrofo. Um, and it kind of goes with metamorphosis to be completely change something, right? Um, so Paul says, I can't believe that as soon as I leave, you, you, you deserted everything that you believed, everything that you trusted, everything that I preached. You, you just gave it up so quick because somebody else preached another gospel. And the rest of this letter is teaching them and reminding them of what the true gospel is and that salvation is by faith alone. And it's so important that he even gives us verse 8. For even if we, talking about Paul or another apostle or an angel from heaven, should preach to you a gospel contrary to the one that we preach to you, let him be accursed. Anathema means basically let him go to hell. Let him be devoted to destruction. And so Paul, this is this is huge, right? Paul planted the gospel. They believed in the gospel. And now um, they have turned their back uh, and been led away from the gospel. Uh, and so Paul is coming in very clear. I can't believe you guys done this. And the people who are doing this are basically our servants of hell, that they are devoted to destruction. Um, verse 11, for I would have you to know, to know with certainty, brothers, that the gospel that was preached by me is not man's gospel. This is not something that somebody told me. Remember in, in verse two, it says he was commissioned by God, not by man. For I did not receive it from any man, nor was I taught it, but I received it through a revelation, a pucaloptus, um, uh, apocalyptus. That's the word, right? Apocalyptus. And it means un to unveil a secret to, this is what Jesus gave me. This is something that he, he unveiled that was secret. And now that he has it for you have heard my former life in Judaism, how I persecuted the church. Um, and try to destroy it, and that I was advancing in Judaism beyond many of my own age among my own people with extreme zealous uh, for the traditions of my father. He was advancing. Um, he, he was kind of blazing a trail. That's what the word advancing means. He was blazing a trail. He was above and beyond any other Jews around him. Uh, we'll find in other places that he was um, very intelligent. He was a leader amongst um, the Jews, and he was blazing. He was leading the Jews to hate the gospel of Jesus. He says, you know my past, right? But because of my past, it even points better to my future because now I've changed and the gospel has changed me, and this is why. Um, but when he who had set me apart, that, that would be Jesus, God, right? But when God, who had set me apart before I was born, who called me by his grace, was pleased to reveal his son to me on the Damascus road in order that I might preach to him among the Gentiles. And I did not immediately consult anyone. This is interesting because Jesus saves him and gives him the ministry to preach to the Gentiles. Now, what did he preach to the Gentiles? The message of grace in Jesus Christ. He did not preach the message of the Mosaic law. He did not um, teach the message of um, the works of a Jewish man and how a Jewish man lives, right? Remember, these Judaizers came in and said, okay, Jesus is good, but you have to do the things of the Old Testament. You have to live like a Jewish person. And so Paul says, but Jesus called me. He set me apart. He called me. He changed my heart and he sent me to the Gentiles to preach the gospel, not the gospel and Old Testament law and Jewish living, just the gospel. And so Paul is saying that the gospel is enough. They, they don't need anything else. Um, and then it talks about how uh, after he was saved, he went to um, he, he went to Arabia and he studied his own self. And then he came back to Jerusalem. He met with Peter, um, Cephas, Peter, uh, for 15 days. And so basically what he's saying is I, I, I didn't need a lot of um, Old Testament training, he went back to read the Old Testament because the Old Testament talks about everything that is in the New Testament. But he, it's like he put on new glasses or new eyes. He could see it in a different way. Um, but I saw none of the other apostles except James, um, the Lord's brother. Then I went into the regions of Assyria and Sicilia. Um, this is home for Paul. This is Tarsus, where he's from. Um, so he, he went home 
and uh, and I was still unknown in person to the churches of Judea that are in Christ. He didn't go to the churches. Um, he he just went home and he he stayed around uh, the Gentile people. Then only when hearing it, he said, "He who used to persecute us is now preaching the faith he once tried to destroy, and they glorified God because of me." The Christians who saw the change in Paul's life, it was so big and so drastic that it calls them to even believe in God even more, right? And so this idea that the Christians that were being persecuted, now Paul is now preaching the same message and is believing what they are and helping the church to grow, that even, that even, um, that even secures in the heart of these Christians that God can change anybody, that God can change any heart. And because of that, Christians were even coming more to faith and those who are in Christ are glorifying God even more because of the true salvation that God offers. It was a salvation of faith, not of works. And I hope that makes sense as we start this book of Galatians. It's a great book, and we will see you tomorrow in chapter two. God bless.